state of Texas. It should shock the conscience of every American that a state would impose a restriction that allows licensed gun owners to vote who happen to be of a certain demographic, white male, but would deny the legitimacy of IDs that the state of Texas itself issues. Texas A&M, the University of Texas at Austin, the University of Houston, other institutions, these are all public universities. And these individuals, these students, pay tuition to go to these public universities. And in response, they issued identification vehicles, identification cards. But the state of Texas has seen fit to say that's not valid in order to vote. And I think that one example, and we've heard several others, basically exposes the fact that the movement to impose voter identification requirements is a fraud itself. It's a sham. The whole argument behind it is that we're trying to protect the integrity of the voting system. But here's the problem. You're protecting the integrity of the voting system by imposing a solution in search of a problem. Because none of these individuals in any of these states has been able to produce a scintilla of evidence of fraud. In fact, there are studies that have shown that there have been over a billion instances of Americans exercising the right to vote without any evidence of misrepresentation, over a billion times. And the number of instances of questionable voting, less than 50. And yet, in state after state, we see voter identification laws being imposed on people. It's not designed to protect the integrity of anything. It's designed to protect certain individuals and maintain their power in the face of troubling demographic changes that are occurring in America. Let's call it like it is.